Hey, what's up you guys? So I read your comments about my last ECC reveals video and I've decided to go back to what I normally do with these reveal videos. So right now I'm just going to go over everything that was revealed during the last week and talk about the information given from Funko. I'll give my overall opinion and thoughts on it on each reveal. So let's get started. So first up, Saga is getting an exclusive pop for this con and it is Prince Robot 4. He isn't numbered and he's rumored to be shared with Barnes & Noble. So in my opinion, this one is a pretty lame exclusive because it's a cool design, no doubt, but it's just a color change from the original. But of course, this one ends up being the cooler version of the two. I like the head sculpt. We don't really get many pops like that, but I'm not going to be going after this one. Next, we get a new line introduced, which is called Pop Myths. This first pop in the line debuting is Flock Bigfoot. He is limited to 3,500 pieces and will only be at the con. Now, this one is very interesting. I'm not sure if I want to get this one or not. Love the choice of pose, you, I mean you can't really have it any other way. This is also a flogged version, so we can probably expect a regular version to come out later on. As you can see it also says this is number 14 in the Myths line, so I'm wondering if we'll get any more Pop Myths soon. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for this new line? And if you are, what kind of mythical characters would you like to see in Pop form? Let me know in the comments below. Next we get another Bigfoot, but this time he has a blue and green coloring. He is limited to 2,500 pieces and will only be at the Funko HQ. Okay, so this one I actually kind of like. I know it doesn't really make any sense, but it's very interesting looking. Uh, it sucks that it's only at the Funko HQ though. I'm sure a lot of people will be mad that some of their favorite items will only be at the Funko HQ. Hopefully I'll get lucky though. A new addition to the Funko original family, Pulpo, has made an appearance, and in three different colors. We get a green one which will be limited to a thousand pieces and will only be at the con. We get a blue version that is limited to 2,500 pieces and will be shared with the Funko Shop. And finally, we get a purple one that is limited to 1,000 pieces and will be only at the Funko HQ. <sighs> so of course my favorite colored one is only at the HQ. This one is going to be a tough one to get. Next best is blue though, so I'll be going after that one when it goes online. One thing I didn't realize is that this pop has actually two sides. One side has a happy face and the other has a frowning face. This would definitely be a pop to get two of so you can display one with one face and one with the other. And finally, we get a set of three Freddy Funkos in a baseball uniform. The teal is limited to 1,000 pieces and will only be at the con. The white is limited to 1,000 pieces and will only be at the HQ. And the tan is limited to 3,000 pieces and will be shared with the Funko Shop. I'm not a baseball fan, so I won't be getting any of these. I also have enough Freddies as is. Design is pretty simple though. It would have been a lot cooler if he was getting ready to swing or has already swung the bat. That would have been a better design in my opinion. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Sorry my last video wasn't as good. It's a trial and error. Trying something new obviously didn't work. Sorry about that. But I'm trying to up the quality. So hopefully this video is better than some other ones I've done. But let me know what you guys are most excited about right now for ECCC. Tell me in the comments below and I'd love to know. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.